Hey guys, so thanks for joining me. I don't have anything particular. Let me restart. This is going to be kind of more personal. I think I've said everything that I wanted to say on YouTube, basically. Um, I just see such a trend on YouTube about people who want to talk about politics or religion or any of that stuff. And I want to talk about all of it where... <laughs> Unless you're like a church or something like that, you're not going to get, you're going to have a lot of problems. Um, I've sat here and I've been through three uh, Louder with Crowder episodes where he's had to sue YouTube just to stay on. I've seen um, different churches have problems with it. I've seen different people have uh, get strikes against their channel and then removed and all this stuff. And I think right now, excuse me, I think the podcast is really where I'm going to have the most success, freedom, whatever, whatever word you want to use for, I'd be able to do it with less, uh, something coming at me. Um, YouTube consistently, because YouTube doesn't want this. Okay. YouTube consistently will remove your videos, they'll remove comments, they'll do all, just anything and everything to make sure your voice isn't heard. If you're a conservative Christian, right? <laughs> Even if you're a conservative witch, like the lady I interviewed, that still, that's still a problem for them, okay? They don't want that, they want the mainstream message, they want whatever it is. And so, you know, me trying to consider, you know, I only have so much money to put towards what I'm going to do as far as advertise, as far as a, a studio, which is what I want one day, as far as all those things. And I think what it really comes down to is that the podcasting is just going to let me do that because I'm going to be able to monetize quicker. I'm going to be able to, you know, get... I'm going to be able to really do what I want to do and talk about all these things I want to talk about. There have been two or three videos that I just didn't make because I was like, YouTube is not going to, they're going to either give me an actual strike <laughs> or they're going to make it so that the people who are subscribed to me don't see it. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I think pretty much what I might use YouTube for is to back up the podcast, maybe. Uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'll still use a camera. I haven't decided whether or not I still do all of that. But since it would be more like a podcast, I won't be, you know, it wouldn't be like I'm sitting here talking to you right now. It would be more like you're just listening to my message, basically. Which I kind of don't like either. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know how to go about this. This is why I say I'm going to start. I'm just going to, I think, go to the podcast for right now. I think everything I was going to do on YouTube, I've already said, I put out my, you know, I put out my, uh, oh, what's it called? I put out my, my, how I came to Christianity, why it's true. You know, you can only have that conversation so many times. People out there just, they just, a lot of people who comment just want to argue. Okay. And I'm not really here to argue. The fact of the matter is Christianity is the truth. It's the only truth that really matters. It's the only truth that's going to get you where you need to go in life. It's the only thing. It's the only truth or set of truths or Bible or, you know, book or whatever you want to say that contains everything that you need to run your life. Okay. I'm not saying it has all the scientific facts in it. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that if you want to know how to run your life successfully and you want to know how to do life a successful way, it's through the Bible. Okay, It's not anywhere else. Everywhere else has like a half truth that's in the, that is already contained in the Bible. All right, so if you want to know how to make the world a better place, it's in the Bible. If you want to know how to make your life better, even if you think it's good right now, it could be like 10 times better, the Bible. So this is what I'm saying is that my message will always be the Bible. The cons like the conservative way of living because that is what makes things any good at all. If you have anything good in, in your life, it's probably because there's a Christian 
concept behind it. It's probably because you did something the way God already outlined to do it. All right. And that's just the truth. That's just the way it goes. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. I think I'm going to do the podcasting for a while. See if I can go there. You know, I can use my money better there as far as advertising. And I really want to grow this. I'd like to grow this to be, uh, I see a lot of people online, a lot of guys online. I see like maybe one Christian girl, uh, Allie Stuckey, really just trying to talk to people about the, you know, the world, like Christian women, what should we be looking at? What should we be doing? So I'd like to be another voice in that, but I'd also, but you know, my viewpoint is not exactly like Allie's. You know, I'm very much a nerd, very much a geek, <laughs> very much have just sort of a different outlook on it. So I'd like to put that out there for women who are more like me, <clears throat> women who maybe, you know, I don't know. I, I, that I fall under a lot of categories as far as like the stuff I like. I, I love medieval stuff. I love history. I love you know, comic books, um, superheroes, whether they be in movies or comic books. I love sort of dragons and, um, a lot of that stuff. Um, the church has been very against before. So, you know, I just got done watching a couple episodes of the X-Files because I love that kind of thing. Stargate's like my favorite show. So, you know, I'm just sort of a different sort of girl, I guess you could say. <laughs> for lack of a better thing, a better way to put this across. And, um, you know, I just, I want to put that out there. I want to talk about every facet of life from the Christian view point. And I want to do it from somebody who, who isn't like, who isn't like Allie or like these other Christian people, because a lot, there are a lot of Christian people out there who just see, they grew up with, Dungeons and Dragons, they, and they grew up with certain things that, you know, if you've never played it, you don't understand that it's not a portal to the devil, like, <laughs> any more than, like, cooking is, like, cooking can be a portal to the devil, too, but anyways, anyways, I am rambling, but I think mainly what I'm trying to say is that I think I could talk about more stuff, I think I can really get into more things if I I don't have to think about, you know, well, is YouTube just going to delete this video? Is YouTube going to tell me I'm not allowed to have that opinion? Is YouTube going to tell me X, Y, Z, right? And basically they are going to, and they're going to keep, you know, they're going to keep pushing me out and pushing me out and pushing me out. So I might put clips on here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly, but I'm not going to disappear completely from YouTube, but it's not going to be like it has been. So if you want to keep track of what I'm talking about, then I'm going to put the podcast link on the, in the description. Um, I'm using Podbean right now and I use that because I can go onto Spotify if I like pay for their monthly. So I will probably end up doing that and we'll just see where this goes. If I end up just talking into the ether to myself, that's fine too, <laughs> because I'll be able to really work out what I think. A lot of the things that I think, I've never actually sat down and talked to anybody about it. I've never actually sat down and had a back and forth with anybody about it. A lot of things that I think, like I've never tried to figure out how exactly does that work in certain situations, right? I've never done that. So this is still basically me trying to figure it out. Me trying to think, well, what do I, what do I think about that as you're taking things into, you know, consideration. So if you still want to join me, you know, still keep an eye on YouTube. I think I'll probably will just post like little things still Thursday at four. I'll post like a clip of whatever it is I'm talking about. And then you, and then a link to the podcast and you can join me there. So thank you guys for joining me, all 59 of you. <laughs> So far, I really appreciate having you here. I sincerely hope you continue with the podcast. Uh, something else someone told me is that a podcast is like easier for them to, you know, they can download it. It's smaller. 
it's the, uh, it's, they still get the information, but you know, um, they're just able to carry that around with them better. And uh, that is one, another like secondary thing I want you guys to be able to do is take this information that I'm giving you or this thought that I'm giving you and share it with people because that is a, that's a big deal whenever you can be like, oh, we'll just watch this video or listen to this when you're talking with people because then you're able to better, like keep the conversation better to what you're trying to say. So anyways, that's a big change. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to go make a podcast real quick. <laughs> I'm going to talk about something that I, uh, have been thinking about, um, for a little bit. Um, we're coming up on voting guys. Be biblically minded when you vote. Okay. Anybody can say anything to you when you get to that voting booth, it's up to you. Yeah. You know, pray about who you're voting for. Okay. I think that's where I'm going to end this now. I hope you're having a great day. Remember to pray and read your Bible every day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.